Welcome NCAA fans. Now, some details of EA Sports College football video game have been leaked over the past couple of months, and gamers should expect an entirely new experience when EA Sports releases its much-anticipated college football video game in the summer of 2024. An insider who saw parts of the upcoming game said that the improvements being made should make fans very happy, as they have been consulting with experts who have given recruiting insights to the game's developers as they build this specific aspect of the game and promising that the addition being made will offer players a more comprehensive experience than it did when it was last on the market almost a decade ago. Which brings us to the first topic which is Dynasty Mode. Now, according to Matt Bowen, publisher of college football newsletter Extra Points, EA is devoting more resources to developing a more expansive Dynasty Mode, and also an EA source told Extra Points that the mode will be the flagship game mode for this title. If you haven't played the original NCAA football in quite some time, Dynasty Mode provides players with the ability to essentially build a college football program from the ground up. That means you can create the team that will play on the field, as well as the entire recruiting cycle. For years, Dynasty Mode has been the game's de facto mode, and it's one of the most popular modes amongst players who want to build small market programs in the national powerhouses. And it looks like it'll be a key component of the game that's set to launch next year in 2024. And I'm sure that we could not wait until the summer of 2024. Now, the CLC plays a role in bringing the game together in conjunction with the uh, NIL. Out of the 130 teams in the FBS, 118 are part of the CLC, which is the Collegiate Licensing Company. Now, here on the screen is the 12 teams that are not. Now, as of now, these schools haven't been ruled out, but the schools were able to sign their own agreement with EA. Now, Clemson and USC did just this as both were part of Madden 22's Campus Legends Superstar KO mode, if any of you guys can remember that, probably the most popular Superstar KO mode has ever been. A report also confirms that several holdouts including Wisconsin, Northwestern, TCU, Fresno State, and Tulane have all opted into the game, which is good news. Now I'll pop in as a quick reminder, if this video right here gets to 100 likes and 100 comments, we will be giving away a free copy of NCAA 14 for the PS3. All you have to do, is like and comment below and we will pull one random person from the comments and you will get your copy of NCAA 14. Now, back to the video. Okay, now to close this video out, we know that it will be a while before EA fully reveals or confirms all of the features that will be in the game, but Mac Brown has revealed some potential ones. And it should be no surprise to anybody that Ultimate Team Mode will probably most definitely be in this game. And it shouldn't come to any surprise to anybody, as it is a cash cow for both Madden and for FIFA. And it's not really a negative thing, because if you think about it, you're going to get to play with a lot of the all-time greats, like Herschel Walker, Deion Sanders, Tim Tebow. A lot of people might not like it, but... I can honestly say that I am looking forward to this mode and some of the teams that you can build in this mode, you know, but let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. And once again, make sure that you like and comment on this video for your chance to win a copy of NCAA 14. But until next time, been smoking Jay. And I will see you either in the ring or on the field.